Hey guys, Harsh here from Shout Me Loud and in this video you are going to learn how you can improve the on-page SEO of any of your blog posts using SEMrush. been a reader of shout me loud you would know that SEM rush is probably the best seo tool out there and we have been using SEM rush for like 10 plus years and this tool has helped me to drive great deal of traffic to shout me loud i mean it helped me to optimize seo of shout me loud and that's how i was able to drive up to 2 million page views a month using seo only so i'll share you one of my trick that i use often to optimize my pages using SEM rush tool and you can follow the same trick and optimize all of your blog post and drive board traffic so the very first thing you need to do is identify the blog post that you want to optimize so in this case I'll be optimizing this blog post so just simply copy the URL now go to SEMrush and sign up for an account if you already have an account go to dashboard if you don't have an account you can find the 14 days free trial link in the description just simply create an account and then you can use all this feature so very first thing that you would be doing is go to SEO and click on organic research here copy paste your url select the geo for which you want to optimize your blog post and it's very important at some time maybe you are writing your blog post for australia but you are optimizing it for india or us that does not make sense so in this case i have selected us and added my url and click on search now what this would do is it would show me the keywords my blog post is already ranking for. So in this case I can see my blog post is at position 7 for this particular keywords. And I can see this keyword domain ownership history is a 3 word keyword and it has a volume of 70. Let's explore this more. So let's open this in a new tab and here I can get more data in terms of like who all are ranking for this particular keyword. So I can see like this top three URL are the tools which are naturally should be ranking and they already have like really high amount of backlinks. But after that, this is Matthew Woodward. I know he's a blogger. Then we have Namecheap, which is another blog content, not a tool. And then there is this blogging X, which is another blog are ranking above my blog. Now I can see that my page authority score is higher than this three which are outranking me and then the referring domain is also lower than mine similarly backlinks are lower than mine so overall like this post has a good chance of moving to at least position number four if done right now the question is what changes i should be making so there are a few things that i can do one of them is i can integrate these questions as an faq in my blog post and I've talked about FAQ schema earlier and something that if you don't know, you should definitely check out my earlier video on FAQ schema. Now that is one way, but I'm going to share another super secret about SEMrush. So SEMrush has this feature called SEO content template, which you can find under on page and tech SEO. So simply click on that. Now our keyword that we're targeting is domain ownership history. So let's just type it. And the target remains the same now you can check your stats more to find out if you're getting more traffic from desktop or mobile so for this i think the desktop is the ideal option and then you need to click on create content template so now this could be used in multiple ways like you know if you have a keyword you can click on this and it will create a content template that you can give it to your author or to your writer and they can basically create content based on those and how it works i'll show you in a moment so what this tool does is like it will analyze the top 10 ranking for that particular keyword and then it will suggest you a lot of things like you know which are the related keywords that you should be using in your article the backlink that you should be getting from like this website you should try to get backlink from for this particular blog post what is the average readability score of top 10 urls and then you know what is the recommended text length this is another very important feature so here you can see this is what i've been getting now one very important feature like basically this is what i've done i've basically blocked SEMrush crawler so that's why it's not able to fetch my url and it would fail a lot of things but i would still want to show you something pretty cool now here is one thing like you know now i have the content template is ready i can export it as a document if it's a new article i can give it to 
an author or writer and ask them to create a content based on this data and i can probably give this to my seo team and ask them to create backlink from these websites to my blog article or to my page but there is another very cool feature of scm rush seo content template and that is real time content check what i can do is i can copy paste the entire article or i can just simply click on this and here i can paste the url and it will import the article automatically now in my case that would not happen because i have blocked the scm rush crawler why i have done that i will probably explain in some other video oh, so what i'll do is i simply i'll copy paste everything let's remove this now readability is poor and they suggested that readability score should be 6 which is 4 so now the very first thing i need to do is improve the readability you remember like the number of suggested word was 1020 but i only have 728 words so this is another suggestion that i need to improve on and of course there is a headline so what i can do is i can improve the score by copying the title here pretty much that's it so now at least i have the title and some words are added now here are few suggestion okay so we got the few suggestion that originality is there tone of voice is good seo is okay and you can see the score here and then you can basically go to seo part and here are some of the recommended keywords that i should be adding within the article these are search engine web pages who is history domain registrar who is record now of course you don't have to dump all these keyword in your article you know just randomly you have to make sense out of it when you are adding these words otherwise your article readability score would go down or it would not make sense to your reader which is worse than you know ranking for a article which is not making sense to the reader now another thing like this is very important often i've seen like you know your alt attribute are not added like you know when you are editing an article you can always add alt tag to an image and if they are not added this tool would show you if alt attributes are not added and then you can improve it now this these are the some of the changes when you make the probability of your article improving is very high and then you can start seeing some ranking improvement so this is how you can start using seo content template now make sure that when you do that you also use the rank tracking tool of scm rush to notice if the rank is improving or not and you know one part of when you're making any seo changes on your blog or on any of your pages make sure to create a record of those changes so that you can track what is working for you and what is not working well i hope this trick has helped you to learn something new if you have any question let me know in the comment section below if you like this video do like and subscribe i would see you next bye bye